Chris, what are you doing? Huh? Oh, um, the new Ninja Turtles and Go Go Power Rangers came out. I'm just going to do my comics for the week. Did you forget that we're filming today? That's today? Yep. Oh, damn it. Come on, let's get to it. All right, let's film the episode. And it's time for another episode of Outer Space Reviews. Hey everyone, it's your boy Chris, and surprisingly, what we're doing today is an actual toy review. But it's not just one toy, we're doing five different toys. Ooh. Now, let's get on to what we were all here for. Toys. Yeah. But what we're reviewing is the Ames Shot Riser from Kamen Rider Zero One, used by Kamen Rider Vulcan and Kamen Rider Valkyrie. And also we're going to be reviewing the uh, progress key of Shooting Wolf. But we also have whoa, the progress key for Valkyrie, Dashing Cheetah. And then we got their uh, supplementary keys. We got uh, Punching Kong and Lightning Hornet. But wait, there's more. Act now and you will also receive the uh, progress key for Assault Wolf and Shining Hopper. But we're just going to focus on the Assault Wolf progress key in this episode. The Aim Shot Riser came out on August 31st, 2019 for 6,050 yen. I know it's a weird number. Tax. Comes with the shot riser, the buckle for it, the back buckle, and of course the prog rise keys. Only place where you can get a uh, shooting wolf. Let's open it up. We got the prog rise key, shooting wolf, shot riser. We also have the belt for it. Back connector, we've got the back connector. And the gun, the gun attachment part also. This will now appear onto this. Boop. There we go. And done. Ready to put this bay boy onto the thing. The way that it works is you get a prog rise key, and you insert it. Once the progress key has been authorized, you're able to flick it up. But with Kamen Rider Vulcan, he doesn't have authority. So what he has to do instead is force it open first. And then inserts it in like so. Otherwise, normally you just go pop and you flick it up. Now, the way that they transform, you can either hold it and shoot with the progress key or you attach it to your belt buckle and then you transform as such. Now, before we go any further, we also have the progress key holder and rushing cheetah progress key set. Rushing cheetah. Cheetah's ability. And as previously shown, the Vulcan one. It also comes with two progress key holders. Uno and Dolphs. Pop that one. Yeah. And this one goes. The struggle, I can tell you that right now. And this is what a kitty shot riser set would look like. Let's hench in. by pushing the button near. So the Deluxe Progress Key Holder and Rushing Cheetah Progress Key also came out on August 31st, 2019 for 3,300 yen. And now for Valkyries, we can insert. Right. 
Remember, we can do two types of finishing attacks. Now we move on to the supplementary keys. Falcon's Punching Kong came out September 21st for 1650 yen, and Valkyrie's Lightning Hornet came out October 5th, also for 1650 yen. Now, let's open these up and listen to the sounds. All right, so we got the progress keys out of the packaging. Let's have a listen what they do. Gah! <sighs> Bun on a bun. Now we got Lightning Hornet. Other has that to us. So, yeah. That's those progress keys. Now we got one more progress key to show off on today's episode of No One Gives a Shit. Um, now, this is a special set. It is the Shining Hopper progress key and Assault Wolf progress set. You can get them separately. You can get uh, you can get the Shining Hopper separately. You can get it with the um, Assault Grip. You can get um, Assault Wolf progress key separately but it always comes with the um, Assault Grip. It came out for a ridiculous price of 5,280 yen. That doesn't sound right. Yeah. 5,280 yen, 7th of December. And I got mine in Japan and it was a, everyone was fighting to get it. We managed to get one of the last ones in Akihabara. Now, as I said, it comes with three pieces, the Assault Grip, Shining Hopper, and Assault Wolf. For this episode, we're only doing Assault Wolf, but we need this grip thing, if I can get it out, can be sold separately. And wolfies it just wrecks everything. Just like I wreck my own life. So get the thing, push it down, or get those two thingies, and uh, da, 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 da. there, there we go. I'll get it eventually.
surviving. So that's pretty much all the progress keys for the Ames guys up until uh, March 28th where the Gatling Rampage progress key will come out for Vulcan. I haven't got that on order because I suck. But yeah, um, overall these are actually a really cool um, secondary uh, rider item. Recommend it. Zero One is a really good series to watch so if you ever get the chance, go and watch it. It's fun. It's a good series. Robots. Pew pew pew. With this series, they did have about three different types of belts out. So you had the uh, Hidden Zero One Driver, the Shot Riser, and the Force Riser. But really cool to have a gun. It's really cool because you get functionality of two and one. So sometimes you'd have to go out and buy the belt and then buy the weapon. But this one is the belt is a weapon or the weapon is a belt and you're just like oh, i want that one mommy progress keys are pretty cool to collect like every other series is always a gimmick but this one's cool in that they can be activated by a magnet if you feel like getting the regular zero one driver is a bit out of your price range go for the aim shot riser or if you like the villains you can get a force riser but they both go for the same price yeah thank you so much for watching today's episode um i hope you learned something um, about a newer series of Kamen Rider in Japan. Just remember, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, I got them. Don't really use them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Thank you and bye!